Bam! It's Saturday, and we're at the shop today. It makes me want to keep singing that song. I know, because yeah. Grady has such a silky smooth voice. Mm. On today's show, we have... Oh. Hey, do me a favoria. Something like that. Tom Cruise called, said he sent us about 100 cigars. That was Hang bad. on. This Did is... I tell you about the time I invented a cigar? No, but you told me about the time that you... I mopped today. <laughs> And, and this building smells like mop water. I figure by the time we get through the head the headlines, yeah. you should tell everyone twice that you mopped. I think that it is Saturday morning. We are fresh off of a typical run-of-the-mill first Friday. Yep. And what does that mean? That means Principal Cigars is in the house. Elite Weapon Solutions is in the house. We have who else we have in the house? Well, we have all these folks, and some of them were here last night for First Friday, and some of them look like they were here at First Friday. Very quiet this morning. Yeah, very That's quiet. What it means. There was uh, there was a lot of um, courage juice being poured to uh, before people got out on the dance floor. A a a alcohol. A That's what it was. There was a lot of that. What was it like? Because it was ladies in couples. It was ladies. Last night. It was ladies' night and couples' night. Brought to you by the Lynx, the ladies of ICC. Yep. Um, which my wife is the grand poobah of, from what I understand. And they were all dressed to the nines. It looked great. And um, apparently we limited the amount of tickets that guys could buy. Mm -hmm. So that was, that was not received well by a lot of the guys um, that wanted to be in here with all the ladies. But there were a lot of ladies in here, a lot of ladies in here. Um, some of them, their asses were stuck to the seats and we had to pry them out to get them to get up and get funky. But Busy played just smooth R&B until about nine and then started climbing up the hill. Mm. And uh, by the time I left, I was a block away and I could still hear it. So yeah, it was, okay. uh, it was happening last night in a major way. Um, the Lynx ladies killed it. They had champagne at the door and chocolates at the door as people came in. Really, really well done. Big kudos to the Lynx ladies, Brandon Byers, Megan Byers. They are, they're taking what we do to the next level. And to you guys who didn't get the tickets in time, tough shit. We announced this early. Yeah, we announced it early. I don't feel bad for you. The, the amount of utter shock that happens at 3 o'clock on Friday afternoon when people are going, hey, man, can you do me a favor? I didn't realize the tickets were on sale. Here's what I find out. Everyone buys their tickets as soon as it sells out. As soon as it sells out, same two, three people always just send me a message. Oh, hey, I just, you know, I saw it was sold out. Can you help me? No, I can't help you out. No, I can't help you I'm out. so sorry. And, and you could carry that theme forward to the upcoming Kentucky Derby event. You are right. Because that Let's is... Let's talk Kentucky Derby. Yes. We are less than a month away. We're getting there. We're very close. And it's going to be very important you get tickets to come to this. Right now, all rose level, all outdoor, with Ostegeen, the VIP, all of the top level tickets are sold out. We do have public access, which is a $30 ticket. It includes barbecue, it includes access to this public pavilion, as well as out back with a big ass tent. Right. And that is where we are going to do the CSWC, or just actually not CSWC, but the slow smoke. Are we doing the slow smoke in here? No, we're gonna do it out in the tent. Oh, outside with yeah. wind blowing. And yeah, everything. it's going to be a, so. It's going to be a, a new a, element. To a it. new element to it. Yeah. So that's that's awesome. Looking forward to the slow smoke. And here's what's important with the event is, it's important to come to the event earlier. The event's going to start at at eleven o'clock and work into the evening. However, FC Dallas has a game that night at seven thirty. So to make sure you have parking, to make sure everything's gravy on that side, make sure to get here early yes. in the afternoon, hang out with us, crack your fresh crack of the Secretariat bottle, ride, right? and come hang out early. So that way you don't have to worry about parking shenanigans. Yeah, and, and I would even strongly recommend just paying the few bucks and parking at FC Dallas because they'll have this, the, it'll, it'll be pay to play, pay to park, but you could pull right up to the parking spaces right behind the shop, and yep. that'll work out great. And you'll be right there next to the barbecue. You will be right 
on the back side of the building. There's going to be, we're actually, it looks like we're going to be able to we're, close yeah, road blocking the, the back of the building. So the entire back of the outside building will be tented up and everything. That's it. Good morning to Distretto Coffee Roasters. That's what we have in That's our That's what we're drinking this morning. The ICC blend. It is, from what I understand and what I remember, it is a Mexican Nicaraguan blend. I thought it was Mexican and Dominican. Mexican and Dominican They're blend. on here. They'll tell yeah, us. Yeah, let us know. What is the ICC house blend? Uh, Megan Byers says that we look too awake this morning. We, as in us two, did not participate in the shenanigans, say, one Kayla did back in the back. Yes, exactly yeah, right. She looked no, like no. a puddle of mud walking in the door. <laughs> <laughs> She's got allergies, man. She's got allergies. Yeah. Whoa. She's got allergies. If you're watching this on Facebook, give this a share, right? meow, and then comment done. Right. Ron is going to pick out somebody who's going to win some stuff. Right. So um, if, if Yvonne is on, I sent your cigars out to you yesterday. They should be there probably Monday or Tuesday. Right. And um, so Brian McGee uh, reminds me here as he says, good morning, mates. Let us know if you're coming in from a foreign country. Say good morning to us. A foreign country like Chicago. Yep. Speaking uh, of Austin Jashari. Uh, Austin just showed up. He actually just showed up at our house oh. last night. Just showed up. Okay. Yeah. Um, so if you're coming into us from a foreign country like Chicago, let us know where you're coming at. We will say good morning to you in your dialect. No Nika matter. and Mexican. Nice. Nice. Good, good remembering. <laughs> last night was great. Anthony White, done. Dusty Robert, done. Yeah, this is Megan Byers' be... allergies, quote unquote. Yeah. A lot of allergies from the ladies yeah. who joined us last yeah. night, which causes headaches and, and headaches. Let me ask you. Yeah, what are you smoking this morning? I'm smoking a really good cigar, by the way. Do you like it? This is this is very good. This, as you guys know, once a month we get a release from the Limited Cigar Association. We're a member of this very small group, and in this group, they send us a new cigar every month. And for the most part, they have been winners. There's been a there's, there's been, been a maybe couple. a couple that I thought I I don't know that I would sell it in the store. It wouldn't have made the cut in our evaluation process. I think this one would. It is um, it's called the Vince, and that is all tied to what was that? Was it color, color of Money? It's Color of Money with Tom with, Cruise. Uh, Tom Cruise as well as Paul Newman. That's right. And there were pool hustlers. Yep. Yep. So what's happening is the um, there was a release earlier that had a tie into that. This one is called the Vince, which I think was Tom Cruise's yep. um, character. So on it it says the Vince on the foot tag, and it has an eight ball on the or a nine ball on the um, on the foot band. On the foot band. <clears throat> it's done by the Blackbird Company, which is a star, a small uh, boutique company. They make a they make a fine product. They make terrible Actually, videos. Actually, they're they're out. They make terrible videos, but they're out of Chicago, and um, uh, really good guys, really no. nice guys. They came in here recently and hung out at the shop, and uh, and good dudes. Good, really dudes, good dudes, most certainly. Their yeah. branding is really cool. The look of their cigars. It wasn't quite the match that we're looking for in the shop, but if you do get your hands on them, it's worth. It has a run at. the. Uh, honestly, the cigar reminds me of like the Espinosa Habano, where it's got that little just kind of a hint of pepper. It's not real oily. Um, it, it's a box pressed Toro, but I like it. It's got a really compressed box press, almost like an oval that um, almost AJ like used Norteño. to do. Remember the San, the San Latano yep. o oval and the Norteño that had that really tight, small uh, box press. I really like the, the shape. Performance has been excellent. It's not too young. I'm not getting any bitterness in the back of my throat. So th this is, it's, a, it's a very good cigar. You know what that reminded me of was the silver band um, definition cigars. The Maduro version with the San Andreas. It's, it's, it's a little bit drier. It is drier, but it but it still has good San Andreas flavor. To right. It. So so one of the things that we're learning is particularly when you're if you're going to drink like red wines, some more sweeter spirits, that that dryness actually accentuates that when that's the like if you're going to do a rye, or you're going to do red wine, that the dryness of your palate gets accentuated by the spirit. So um, our friend. Um, 
Johnny Goodner last night actually bought a bottle of Camus and paired it with that particular cigar. Oh, okay. That we didn't we don't know anything about, and said it was hey. perfect. Oh, really? Yeah. He said it was a perfect pair. Perfect. Speaking of, okay, so no, let's we can't talk, talk about that. No, no, no I'm not okay. gonna. I'm, I'm not, not gonna say anything, but yeah. I will talk about how that rolls into a couple of new cigars in the humidor. One that is back. We had this about a year and a half ago. Yeah. This is Principal Cigars, and we just let's take it out of the wrapper. We so just see the shape. found a found ourselves a little bit of a boatload of new Principal Cigars in the house. Uh, a ton. This is one. We of We received them. in, I think, two thousand sticks. 2,000 principles mm. or three days worth. Right, exactly. This is called the Favori. This is part of the Accomplice line. The purple band on it shows that it has a Corojo wrapper. To me, what I get is very similar to like Mesquite barbecue, where you get a little bit of sweetness to it, but there's, it's a little woody. It's intense in the flavor, yeah. but it's not peppery by any means. We, we have other cigars in that, with that Corojo wrapper on it. That wrapper is very good. Corojo originally came from Cuba. And it is a, it's a beautiful wrapper, but um, it's not a real heavy wrapper by any stretch of the imagination, but really, really nice. But because that belly's out to a 60 ring gauge, once you get into that thing, it opens up, becomes real airy, and it's not, it's not real aggressive. Whereas when you smoke the Robusto version, it's, it's a little bit fuller all the way through. It's full and consistent. What I like about this, if you ever want to try a cigar that, that changes, quite a bit and naturally changes this one will do that because of the variance in the size how it how it does you're getting considerably more effect. wrapper at the end and then it's going to open up and you'll get that feeling of more kind of filler to, yeah more filler to to uh, wrapper ratio this is unfortunately educational this morning let's let's it make is. a change here will you just talk to us now that we're on the education side of things and the rest of the building hasn't heard about it today, will you just talk us to, through maybe your mopping techniques? Well, I, I found that, you know, and this, this really comes, it, I didn't really learn how to mop until I went to prison. Uh -huh. Once you go to prison, that's a beautiful that's a, 69. That's but, beautiful. Um, that, oh, one, by hang on, let me finish that. That's a 69 Camaro. Right. So, yeah, we don't want to, there's nothing crazy going on up front. <laughs> so, um, but but there's there's a round technique and then there's this technique that's bush league. What the, I, in I, prison you got to do that? Yeah, it that, it's it's a whole. Scene. I do the zamboni technique. The and backup. that's why you're a rookie. Mm. You, but when you go to prison, you'll learn. Oh, uh, um, I'm working on it. So I, I appreciate Larry because Larry's coming in from the foreign country of Missouri. Okay. Lagrange, Missouri, and he has me? actually explained to me how to do a good day mate for him, which is. Uh, uh, mate okay. apparently they grunt a lot in um english is coming up i yeah. think in the middle english, of english is their second language yeah. yeah a country is their first a lot of uh, 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 hey. kayla would understand it kayla would understand the hell out of it last night See, speaking <laughs> uh, okay so last night <laughs> it, so here comes all right this is here, now moving into a, this segment is called rag on on kayla it, for right. just a second yeah this is Country Kayla uh -huh. comes in here. We have this beautiful lighting set up. Red lights up the wall. Volume of the lights are down. She comes in and goes, I like the ambience in this room. <laughs> no. I'm like, right. ambience? He go, oh, here comes the ambience. Okay, no, no, no. We, we know. That's why we're saying it. So here, this is Kayla. Country. So Kayla, Here's just Kayla because country. you're standing country. here, this, a gentleman came in on Tuesday and he goes, I was in here the other day and I was speaking with a young lady, and it's it's the one that, you know, she's very pretty, but she talks about, like, hanging up and slaughtering up pigs and type of stuff. <laughs> and I was like, Kayla. And he went, oh, Kayla. <laughs> so, My wild hogs. Yeah, your wild hogs. Yeah. So, so There's no evidence when you feed a human to a wild hog. So that's he, exactly he, what okay. he was saying. So he so, must have been coming at me. So, um, <laughs> say ambulance. Ambulance. And say Ambience. No. That no, is exactly. Okay. Ambience. The ambience. She's ambience. She's been working. Yeah. <laughs> Ambiance. Am Ambiance. We're in France. Whatever. Okay. Whatever. Go on. Sounds get. like yeah. You're taking. That's the one that has that the rose and That's the one that has the allergies. <laughs> <laughs> Definition cigars. Jay is in. We've got Nathan Caliendo coming in. Jay's in, and he's all the way in central Dallas. Ooh. So good day, mate. Right there. Good day to That's everyone. That's how we do it. Right down there, Tollway. Um, we got Megan Byers. We got uh, Gary Morris is in here 133 times. Good. good I don't I like know. That. I don't think he understands. Just because you see a red button, you shouldn't push it. Mm. So he keeps turning off his internet. So we've got uh, Joe in. 
We got Joe in. We got a lot of people in here. We got uh, Grizz is in from uh, across the pond. Good day, mate. We'll see Notice you in here soon. Notice how that sounded a little bit more British. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. very brilliant. Going to play it some footy stuff. Gonna, that's Australia. Oh. How you doing? So, um, since you asked, yes. what I'm smoking this morning. I, I did not ask, but What I found Grizz, was... Hold on just a second. Grizz is smoking an 1875 Romeo. We have got to take care of that boy. Yep. We got to send him something next level. What Grizz, are you send, us your, send us your damn address, would you? Send us DM, your address. We're gonna, message me your, your address. This we is how much we love you. We're going to spend $150 oh. to DHL you seven cigars. Exactly. Here's what I'm smoking this morning. This, <laughs> this is the... Oh, hold Cavalier. on. Hold on. This is a good show, Hold on just a second. It's $150? Grizz, I'll pick up $50 of your ticket. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, I'm just kidding. We're not going to send you anything. No, fuck no. <laughs> so, <laughs> fuck no. <laughs> no. Here's what I'm smoking. Have you seen him, though? Cavalier. This is the Ellie from 2020. Yeah, let's, let's talk about something you have no chance of ever getting again. Me included. What I've noticed is I had a box in there that I smoked one of. Okay. How many do you have left? Four. They evaporate. I don't know if you knew that. It's a no. whole thing. When I invented cigars, I designed them to evaporate if we, you don't smoke them fast enough. That's actually a good point. You won't get your hands on this. And that is until perhaps you get a little ICC exclusive on the way that's in this format, which is a short Salomon. Yeah. In this blend, which is absolutely sensational. That. But talk to us about when you invented cigars. Why did Well, you? no, I was... Uh, Actually, it was something I did to, that I thought it would take care of you guys long term, and it's not working out for us. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, oh, hey, Travis is here, and, he, and he's right there. Bon dia. He. That's right. Nice. Yeah. He's How Mexican. do you say good day, mate, in Italian? Buongiorno. Buongiorno. Okay. Papangur. That I know. Is that that's not, Sorry, sorry, Travis's mom, if you're watching. Yeah. No, oh, she's okay. okay. I, I have learned something uh, from our friend Rodney Smith, from Travis. Mothers love us. Yeah. Because apparently their kids aren't funny or we push the envelope, but in a clean way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I so, don't know you about the car you were talking about up there, though. I don't know. You are just a 69. Yeah, that's all right. Let's move on here. Uh, my question is. What is everyone in the building smoking? They are smoking a Placencia. And they're smoking Placencia, why? Well, because Placencia stepped up. They sent us a box of cigars. So everyone who comes in to Saturday at the shop until these evaporate, we get somebody else to step up. You're going to either be able to smoke the Almeda Campo, this one, or Almeda Fuerte, which is about a, this stick is about $20. And you just, it's, it's our way of bribing people to come in here. And we have, and I'll tell you what, it is an eye opener. When you can put a cigar in somebody's hand, let them smoke it. Sometimes you spend $20 on it, you, you convince yourself it's good. Mm -hmm. But when you can get that cigar and smoke it on its own merit and enjoy the cigar and enjoy it in this setting. But I'll tell you what, I really, that. The Alma Del Forte, I always thought was too strong for me, but it is not. It isn't. Uh -huh. It's very well balanced. The, the cigar is using tobacco from 06, 07. Very aged tobacco. It's got a lot of flavor. It has some intensity, but I think it's still very approachable. And, and hats off to Cigar Hammer Mike, because we've met Cigar Hammer Mike. He actually used the word exquisite. He also smoked the Mortal Coil and said that yeah. he did it and he accomplished it. But I, here I stand, I don't think he heard the challenge because the challenge was to inhale the mortal coil. Yeah. Not to just smoke it, anyone. I smoke anyway, it, it's, and it's a good cigar. Yeah. It's intense, but it's a good cigar. But I did, somebody described it, called it uh, motor oil instead of mortal coil. Mortal oil. <laughs> yeah, it had to Because it has some, what looks like motor oil soaked tobacco in the center of that cigar. Yep. Speaking of motor oil, Sean Ratz is, is in the building. And I'll tell you what, Sean Ratz, everyone should buy a Porsche 928 so they can deal with Sean Ratz because yeah. he is, is the best. He is I, the best. I've driven my car more this week than I have all year because I love the new steering wheel. 
slap your leg as you were turning? Love it. I just, it's it's perfect. Sean Ratz is the man. Sean Ratz is the man. That's a good point. I'm, I'll give you. I'll when give he you drives that. his, I didn't even realize the seat went up that far. No. No. I no, did not know. Way up here. It's, yeah. And he drives it like, you know, he doesn't realize there's not an airbag in there. That's, yeah. We've got Bobadil Rob in. We have Joe L in. Who else we got? We have Juan Carlos, 1980. I think he's down in Mexico City. Hey, S.A. No? Go, go ahead. Just, no, 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 just finish out what you're doing. This is Okay. A.S.A. Good day, mate. Good day. Good day. That's good. Okay, nice. That's good. What's nice. up with Clerkin? We got a lot of people in here. JP, everybody here. Marty Upton is in the house. Marty. Marty's the man. Marty's the man. Him and Frank make such a good couple. They do. They. I saw him. Oh, you're still in here? Oh. Oh, sorry. Frank's still here. The, they pick, took this cute little pick. photo together last night. Playing sword, you know, sword fight with their cigars last night. Oh, okay. Like, like, that was what kind of sword fight are they doing? <laughs> like, hey, come, come over. We're hanging out. No, I'm out. No, we're doing a sword fight. No, yeah. that's not what we're gonna play with. Oh, shit. All right, I can. I've seen sword fights go sideways. <laughs> so, um, Rhonda's in the house. Uh, was Rhonda oh, Grizz, in last night? Grizz is saying, Ron- yes, Rhonda was in the house, okay, and she good. was bringing the thunder. Was she? Oh yeah. Yeah, I don't think Maurice is ever going to be the same. Good. Yeah, Maurice, Maurice got a little bit of Rhonda. Good. Yeah, but yeah, good everybody slice. was out having a good time dancing and having a great time. It was it was so much fun. First Fridays are a blast. For those who are just joining us, welcome on Instagram, welcome on yeah, Facebook, welcome on YouTube. Welcome. Who are we? We're Industrial Cigar Company. And we are in Frisco, Texas, fastest growing city in the United States. As written about in one 2018 article. Right. But it was on the internet, therefore it's true. Correct. And um, But based on all the cranes that are on the uh, horizon line, there is a lot of growth going on here. Without a doubt. A and we are growing. We are growing. And we are getting ready to grow. We mm-hmm. are getting ready for the next phase, which seems like it's happening right now because the planning is happening right now but it won't echo out for another 18 months or so right but we're we're close to being able to tell you what we're doing and where we're doing it at and we're very excited and everybody else minds will just pack up and go home Mm -hmm. yeah it's going to be a wrap because we're going to take it to the next level. this will be the next level look the only change the only constant is change and this is going to be a change and an improvement so it's it will be the reason people get on airplanes to fly to Dallas. That is absolutely no, no exaggeration. No it exaggeration. Is, our vision from the beginning is to create a destination cigar lounge experience. This will be that. This will be an overall experience where you can you can make a weekend of it, a nice long uh, weekend. And the key is still centered around the cigar. There are so many bars. Another bar just announced that they're moving in from Atlanta, and. They're a bar that offers cigars. Mm-hmm. And there's a couple of them down the road that are bars that offer cigars. And we are still cigar culture centric. And uh, with everything going right, we'll also offer drinks. We'll also offer limited amount very, of drinks. Very, very limited. We are not going to be a place for daiquiris. It will be a place where you nope. can get a high quality pour. And you still cannot sit at the bar and smoke a cigarette. We, Correct. We have Chris here for a reason. And Chris's job will be to drag them out. Drag them out. Lecturing their ass about smoking cigarettes all the way to the front door. That's and right. And kick their ass out. That's right. Yeah. Uh, Bobita Rob, he said, got to give you a hint. I'm booking my flight right now. Just go ahead and book your flight and come join us so we can give you a little bit behind the curtains. Yep. And then we'll talk about that grand opening date. Plus, I think Rob is up in Minnesota. Up there, up there about Minnesota way. So up there, uh, must be about noon. Noon up there. Uh, good day, mate. Geez. Yeah, well, I've been watching a lot of Fargo. But I do think they're still on Central Time, though. Well, no, actually, once you get up in the Arctic Circle, there's another hour. Arctic hour. Yeah. hour. Yeah. The Arctic hour. Arctic hour, hour. yeah. I, I like actually, that. all the clocks froze at noon. <laughs> so, um, and they thaw out at in noon. May. At, at noon. noon. <laughs> We're up there about noon, yeah. I used to work at Plywood, Minnesota, you know. And all the guys down there from Minnesota, they would always come down there, and they'd, they'd say, you know, you, you get your break at noon. Okay. <laughs> come on. I so swear like, to God, tell playing? me I'm wrong, Rob. Are you? I swear to God, new one. You got, jeez, watch Fargo, for Christ's sake. Is that what you're doing? 
Is this a skit? No, it's not a skit. What are you doing? Trust me. All right. Rob, tell me that I'm not nailing the Minnesota accent. Oh, boy. Yeah, there, buddy. Oh, I'm yeah. back in oh, yeah, back now. Up there, up there, Minnesota way. <laughs> All yeah. right. So you're right. Yeah. Well, yeah. All right. This okay, is going then. well. Okay, then. Yeah. Good oh, job, geez. Pops. Hi, oh, jeez. What, what else do you want to talk about? <clears throat> well, how did you invent the cigar? Because you, you put that on there. No, this is you. You no. read the headlines. Oh, I know I read the headlines. I didn't actually invent the cigar. But you know what we're going to talk about? Maduro. Okay, let's talk. So you, actually, you guys want to learn something about a cigar? You want to learn some shit? You want to learn some shit? Let's do it. Let's learn. Let's here's, learn. What, here's what my preconceived notion up until admittedly not that long ago was. I thought there was a Connecticut plant. I thought there was a Habano plant. I thought there was a Maduro plant. Right. How many people, raise your hands out there right now, think that they're when they're getting a cigar, it has a Maduro leaf? leaf. That's what I thought. I thought it was a varietal of the tobacco. Mm -hmm. However, what is the truth? The truth is... Cigars go through a fermentation phase, which we've talked about that before. They stack the tobacco in basically a very organized compost pile. And the temperature of that tobacco rises via a chemical reaction. And it gets in that 96 to 98 degree stage. God bless you. And then they take it off, let it rest, and they put it on for a second fermentation process for the Maduro. And they allow that to cook up to 103, 104 degrees, and there's an ideal time. This is the same sense as like blackening fish. Okay. You know, you're gonna, you're gonna get it really, really hot to get that black crisp off. Just think about searing. So what they're doing is they're letting that chemical reaction run further than it should, and you're in a sense creating that burn to the tobacco. So you think about what seared meat, that the outer side tastes a little bit burnt, a little mm -hmm. bit fuller than what the center is going to be. Same thing with the Maduro wrapper. They could take a, a Corojo wrapper, they could take a San Andreas wrapper, they could take any of these wrappers and let it in that second fermentation phase, age a little bit longer, and there is a point where one or two degrees above that, no bueno. It's gone. It's, it's overcooked. But they watch it, they get it to a point where it's in that 103 range from a heat standpoint, pull it, and at that point that wrapper is darker, it's fuller, and it's got that almost that hint of burnt and if you, element to if it. If you do run a more mainstream, if you smoke a more mainstream cigar, what you may find is a harshness out of a Maduro wrapper. Right. Sometimes because, because of the amount of attention that each belon, each area of tobacco requires when you have warehouses full and full and full of mm. them sometimes it's that temperature can run on you a little bit and if you get that harshness out of a maduro it could be under aged it could be over fermented it could just be off and they said well we're not losing that cash use it anyways so that's where we really focus on the smaller producers where they can manage the tobacco a little bit more um, delicately, I suppose. Yep. And they, they don't let it run away from and, it. and I think a big part of the reason that we work closely with manufacturers that we know who the farmers are is there's, in Nicaragua, the Dominican and areas, there are brokers that are just taking tobacco from farms. And, and they'll go through it, sort through it, and they'll, they'll pick the stuff that they think is good or bad or whatever the case may be, and they may buy a batch of tobacco, but you never know if some of that was a little overcooked. But when you're dealing with somebody like Placencia, that's one of the best farmers in the world, those guys, when you're getting a Maduro wrapper, very consistent, obviously when you start talking about some of the, like a broadleaf wrapper, or some of these that are heavy in oil, and you let that cook a little bit longer and get that dark, rich flavor out of it, that is because these farmers know what they're doing. Right. Not saying the other farmers don't, but when you're when you're making tobacco to have the best components that go into the cigar, you got to manage that aspect. And of it. let's be clear as well of what that takes, because as I'm trying to learn to cook, I take that and I learn an hour at a time. So I learn uh, I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. But I'm doing it an hour at a time. Yeah. To do full fermentation, to run through the entire process from seed to finished product, you're talking 18 months or more. 
And so it takes a longer period to learn. And with Placencia, they've been farming since 1865. Right. Now they're on, now they're on cosecha, I think, 165. Mm-hmm. I think they're on 165th season. So you just understand all of the generations that have been doing this. You don't just get lucky and, and do right, it right. Right, right. And Rob makes a point here where he's asking, kind of asking here, does can that burn uh, actually create more sweetness? And a lot of that really is going to be based on the tobacco itself, the core tobacco. There are some tobaccos that naturally are a little bit sweeter. When we say sweet, not sugary sweet, just not going to be Rain. loaded with pepper or or that's, or heavy oils. Connecticut broadleaf, Pennsylvania broadleaf, really, really has a lot of oil in that tobacco. So the more that cooks, the more intense that cigar gets. He's got the that wave too. He's you got that, that, yeah. yeah. Sword fight wave. Sword fight wave. But... Um, but there are some tobaccos that are sweeter. Actually, by, by from a country of origin perspective, Honduras probably creates some of the sweeter tobaccos. Well, uh, but, that, Mexi- uh, but Mexican Mexico San Andreas, does, Negro Mexican, San Andreas makes a really very sweet, good. very intense, chocolatey, coffee-based tobacco. Yeah, that's that, which is good. what's on our uh, rebar is a 15-year-old Mexican San Andreas Maduro, and it is spectacular. Let me ask you. Of the cigars that are in the humidor right now, mm-hmm. what are a couple few cigars that maybe have surprised you or cigars that people shouldn't be walking past and make sure they pick up if they come in today? Real simple. the This Cavalier White Label Salamone Limited Edition, actually any of the Cavalier, they typically will use the top of the plant, the Lajera leaves, in order to add strength. This cigar has none, and but it is loaded with flavor i think this is probably at i think it's 12 dollars 13 dollars something like that cigar yeah it smokes like a 25 dollar cigar so i think it's one of the best values in the store 12 dollar cigar yes um the i was really impressed with that uh favori was really impressed with that we still have cochon volants which you you know get them while you can and um there was one other, go ahead and talk, because there was one other, and i got to remember what it was. So, uh, Bovidov, Rob, what factory is Cavalier out of? Cavalier actually rolls out of the Placencia factory in Honduras. In Honduras. So they have, they have access to really unique tobacco. Use a lot of the Honduran stuff versus Nicaraguan, which means it's going to give you a little bit lighter palate to yeah. it. A little bit yeah. more approachable for anyone's palate. Um, but they do utilize tobacco, San Andreas, and some really unique stuff. We did get the uh, Crux PB5 back in. That's a spectacular cigar. That's now a 15-year-old wrapper, a 16-year-old wrapper. That's on that, um, and I got to tell you, I probably smoked no less than 10 Bandoleros this week. I have smoked last Saturday. Man, I went is that thing good? Bandolero, Bandolero, then took a Bandolero home. Yeah. Those are probably my in the humidor right now. Aside from just my simple bias and love towards uh, Principal and Crux, I think. Bandolero is my favorite thing in the humidor right now. The Bandolero, for those of you guys that don't know, we talk about Atabay all the time and we talk about Byron all the time. In my opinion, the best cigar in the world. The the Bandolero is similar tobacco with four years of age, not 14 years of age. It's uh, one year post roll instead of four years post roll that it sits. But that cigar in the $15, $14 range, I smoked that the other night, and then a Mystico, a, which is a about a thirty-two dollar Atabay. The the difference wasn't that great between I mean, the Bandolero. It it's a different flavor profile, but you could just tell the quality. So we'll, we'll step back here because Bovada Rob asks about the PB5 for the Crux PB5. What wrapper does it have, and what does PB5 stand for? You know all about this that. This is actually a really cool story, and those of you who are into cigars will know a name, Skip Martin, Skippy is a gentleman who who owns one of the owners of Roma Craft. Mm-hmm. Well, him and Jeff Hogan, the owner of Crux, worked to get together in the blend of the PB5. Now, PB is because they call him Skippy, like right. peanut, butter. peanut butter. People think it's it tastes like peanut butter. That's it not doesn't. the notes. But PB is giving Skippy his love, and 5 is the fifth rendition of that cigar. So the Limitada has an Engañoso wrapper, right. which translates to tricky because it should be different than, on paper, it should smoke different than it really does. But they cornered the market and bought it all. 
but they have it all. <clears throat> it's the only cigar, to my knowledge, is the only cigar that that wrapper is on. And because of that trade-off, you get the PB5, very much like the WD-40. It's the 40th rendition of that. The PB5 is the fifth rendition of that blend. A little bit nerdy backstory there, but yeah, that's it, why it is. Um, and Dustin reminded me of the one I was forgetting, which... I, I'm, I love value, as my wife will tell you. I, I love value, and as you proved the other day with where you get your shoes, you love value as well. The um, <laughs> the other best value in the store is the principal gold label, black and gold. That cigar for ten, eleven dollars is look. I buy a twenty-five dollar Padron and smoke that at the same time, and you'll be pissed you spent $25 on the Patron. I couldn't agree more. It is it is absolutely out of this world. Those are nice shoes, though. Yeah, yeah, where'd you get them? Kroger. Okay. Eight bucks, Kroger car, dog. They look pretty good, though. I you I thought they were worth, I thought they were $10, $12 a shoe. Nope, That's 24 bucks. bucks. That's four bucks a shoe. Yeah, that's no. a good deal. No, it's good. Were they both the same size? Well, pretty much. <laughs> but your, your feet I mean, sound like the dick If you would have been at a... At a yard sale, you would have paid the same eight bucks. Yeah. Yeah. And they would have been previously broken in. Well, not saying these ones weren't previously <laughs> broken in, but let's just say they got There's still miles on them. Yeah. I mean, your, your feet sweat like the Dickens, though. I will say that. For me, some of the cigars not to do absolutely not pass by or reintroduce yourself to mm. is, first off, the Bandoleros. For me, the red label, which introduces some Dominican tobacco, is really nice. It's got this sweetness to it. There's elegance to it, but it's still full in flavor. Mm. And the, the use of Peruvian, Brazilian, and Dominican, it's really cool how he blended that stuff together. And I've reintroduced myself to the Illusione line. So good. They just don't make any poor cigars. They just don't. And the, the Garajiste is one. And I think we still have some there. We still do. And there, there's the 88 is here because it's one of my favorite cigars. But it is one of those that I I have to remember to go back to it. And that's that's the the thing that you got to go back and try that cigar you haven't tried for a while. Yep. But that's, um, that's a great cigar. The DC stuff is killing it. Definition cigars, the 919, we are killing it with that cigar. Yep. And it, guys, if you haven't tried the DCs, if you like something that's got a, just a tinge more on the heavier side, they've got some great cigars, but they also have some cigars that take care of the guy that wants just a good medium. But that the 919, Jay, you did a great job on that cigar. It is fabulous. Smokini, good morning to you. Or she's down in Florida. Oh, Florida. That's yeah, a little yeah. different. You'll know, i got to lower my voice a little bit because there's, you know, there's the south side of uh, Miami. So good day, miss. Good day. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so it, there's a lot of great cigars in there right now. We're starting to see the factories get caught back up again, which is good. A lot of the factories were closed. Um, Cavalier really, really took it on the chin because Honduras closed twice for COVID, then a Cat 4, then a Cat 5 hurricane. So they were, they were hammered in 2020. And for those who are principal heads, come into the lounge, and we have some off-menu cigars yes. that are hidden away. There are not many. <laughs> But, and it's limit five for the ones that we have that are off menu. You, you have to come in and ask about those and we'll, uh, we'll pull them out of the vault for you to take a look at. Yeah. Very unique stuff. And let's just say these are cigars that one of these I have, I've actually never seen in person before. Yeah. There. No, it, it, there's, we, Darren takes care of us and makes sure that we get anything. He's gets 40 of these or 60 of those and we get them all. And we appreciate that. That's, that's what we look for in vendors that take care of us and give us the things that are unique. We, we want this place to be that little treasure hunt every time you come in to find that something new. And, uh, and, and it's, it's definitely here. There is a cigar that just got back in stock. I forgot how good it is. Which one are you saying? Cuatro Cinco. Oh, Cuatro Cinco. Right, from Hoya to Nicaragua. Cuatro Cinco, four-year-old wrapper, five, or five-year-old filler. Five-year-old wrapper, four-year-old filler, Cuatro Cinco. And uh, it is, it's really good. Really good. I'm, I'm saying half a step down the Los Tejanos line. I oh. see that's kind of kicked back up again. Now that people My are God. in it and falling people, back in love. Well, we, went, we were out of them for so long. But now that cigar, the Toro is 
absolutely it's, spectacular. It's patio season. If you're sitting outside smoking a cigar, the, that's where I'm going. Great point. It is a it is a perfect outdoor cigar, and this is the tip of the day. So if you're if you're smoking inside, about 40 to 50 percent of what you enjoy in a cigar is being able to smell it. If you're sitting outside and it's a little breezy, the flavor is blowing down the street. So you want to smoke something with a little bit more intensity. And a lot of people that smoke outside and then finally come into the shop and smoke something, they'll always comment that this cigar doesn't taste like it tastes when they're at home. You're, you're going to notice considerably more notes when you're smoking inside, but obviously a lot of people can't do that. Mm -hmm. But smoke something that's just a tinge fuller that's going to impact your palate just a little bit more, and you'll be much, much happier. Yep. Uh, the thing I like about the Lastianos is that thing will hold an ash about that long. So if you're out playing golf or working on the car, you can set it down and odds are you're gonna come back to it and it's still lit and still holding its flame because it's got that, it, it really is well constructed. Yep. Really and we, well have, constructed. we have final details on, uh, when, when Edgar comes in today, final details to button up on our June 11th event, Night at the Factory. This week we will be releasing the tickets on Cigars 101 is the plan. So watch Cigars 101, that's Tuesday evening on at 7.30, either on our Facebook or on the Facebook group Cigar Newbies. Right. And we will release those. There's only going to be 15 VIP tickets available. You're going to want to be a part of that. We'll explain it again so you can get excited. But I think we're and we'll explain it in it detail on Cigar Newbies on Tuesday night. Um, well, you know, Travis is ready to just start throwing money at us. <clears throat> um, but this will be one of the most unique experiences. And we've done some cool blending sessions. This is, this is on a whole nother level, and we are so excited. Um, but join Newbies. If you're not a member of Cigar Newbies, join Newbies. Say that you heard about it on Saturday at the shop. We'll make sure that you get in. It is a closely held, closely monitored site. We're, we're not interested in people in there that are trying to show off their intelligence by making you feel like you're an idiot for asking the question. I love this. We will answer any question. I love the culture in there that's that's been developed. I love the self-regulation. There is one gentleman who decides he's going to continue to sell these cheap things on there with all these different. Ninety percent off. off these things. They're great Stupid deals. But ask cheap Chinese. Oh shit. man, I love seeing the, the regulation and. How the do you support. really feel about it? Yeah, I I see this guy everywhere, um, and he posts, "Hey, I, look at my new case." Ask me how I got it, and you can save 80%, and here's a link uh -huh. to China. I've written down 10 different profiles that he's had banned. Yeah. 10 profiles that have been banned? I wish yeah. I didn't enjoy banning him so much. But, yeah, just a, it's a great space for you to go ask questions, get unguarded, and and very positive responses. And, and, and we're, we're the ones answering your questions. If not, I say the group is really The group does really a really good job. But the main thing is, is it's not a picture of us. We don't really encourage... A selfie that shows oh look at me I'm I'm having a drink and a, and a cigar tell us what you got from the cigar so maybe it's something that would get us interested that we would either want to bring it into the shop if we don't already have it but a lot of times we're asking the question what did you get out of the cigar mm -hmm. and, and then people can can get involved and get engaged there's look, look there's, there's 50 up. cigar 50 cigar groups out there that's just full of selfies yep it doesn't that doesn't help us learn anything yep. so now I will say for that I will say this it was it was cool when Mark Meyer dropped us dropped a little bit of a selfie and just said, "Hey, what's everybody smoking tonight?" And it was just all filled up in there, so you could see what's in other people's right in other people's um, I, kind of their rotation. I would like to personally invite Bovita Rob to come down here and do cigar newbies with us Tuesday night, seven thirty. So book your flight appropriately um, and come down and do a whole session on bovida and humidification i think that would be a great show. absolute that we get more people asking about how they should set up their humidor how many uh, how they should humidify it and um we're 100 percent bovida here so i think it would make sense to have um at least somebody that says that has bovida in their name they should be here yeah i yeah. think so i mean really when it comes to humidification bovida is the way to do it Take right. the pucks that come with your humidor, throw it in the trash. Just That's like a trash. VCR. Yeah. Get rid of it. It it does no good. Use Bovada packs. That's it. That's it. That's it. Good show, Pops. It, spectacular. I mean, yeah. 
I think it's just this fresh, for the for the four people that watch it. That is just. I think it, it's a nicely mopped floor. It's a nicely mopped floor. It's it's yeah. this pine saw that's in the air. What's what concerns me is is Chris took it literally when I said you could eat off this floor, and he's been like eating on the floor. I don't. I doesn't mean set the tacos on the floor. Yeah, those Jesus toes he brings in, yeah. I would eat those off the toilet. They're so good. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, that's a fact. So that is a fact. Yes, that is on Facebook. And if you are interested, it is. If you want to purchase from us, if you're here, come in and join us. We're still, we still have quite a few local deliveries that go out. We yep. deliver every day at four o'clock, and you can order on industrialcigars.co. Right. We've, I've put some new products up there. Uh, it's it's the changing now up. is the new LCA Vince. It is the new LCA Vince is up. This is a cigar, by the way. Um, it is. Uh, I, I'm. I'm down to the final nub of this cigar. It has, it's traveled well through the entire cigar. I just get this, I'm getting just, for those of you that just like this, like subtle reminder that there's a little bit of pepper, uh, but it's not oily. And it is uh, kind of dark chocolate, not sweet dark chocolate, but dark chocolate, uh, coffee, espresso in that lane. Mm -hmm. So it, it's, it's a really, really nice cigar. Typical Nicaraguan cigar um, without that, that heavy punch in the face with that real heavy oily Lajero leaf that they put mm -hmm. in it. So with that, watch out. We have events coming up every every first Friday. We have something. I can't remember what next month is, but Cars, next month's going to be a little bit different. Cars and cigars in two weeks. That is correct. Last week's or last month's uh, show was huge. It's a good one. It was really good. It was a very solid one. If you have a, a show car, make sure to get onto the Park Up Front app to reserve your space. Events coming up, new cigars in the humidor. A lot of a lot of stuff coming. A lot of uh, bandoleros coming. More atabes are coming. Um, I've been bringing in a couple of new cigars, kind of expanding in some areas. Uh, there are a couple of vendors right now that are still really behind, so they're going to lose some space to some stuff that can deliver because we don't, you don't, you don't do any better, and we don't do any better if we we have empty boxes. Yep. So that's exactly right. So with that. We appreciate you taking your Saturday morning to hang with us on Saturday at the shop. Yep. We'll see you on Tuesday on Cigars 101. We'll see you in the shop. Come on in. Hey, it's March Madness in April. We're down to the final four or two? Or what Christ. are we down to? Shit, I don't know. I don't know. Adios.